now we are going to learn about some simple properties related to mean and mean deviation okay now let the mean of x1 x2 till xn be x bar then we know that x bar is x1 plus x2 so on till xn by n and therefore x1 plus x2 till xn is n times x bar okay now suppose we increase each observation by some number okay so let's say a okay each observation is increased by a then what is the mean of the new set of observations which are x1 plus a x2 plus a x3 plus a so on till xn plus a well we can write the formula as x1 plus a plus x2 plus a plus x3 plus a and so on till xn plus a the whole divided by n now we can group this as x1 plus x2 till xn and then a plus a plus a is going to be n a the whole divided by n but x1 plus x2 till xn we already know is n x bar so it's n x bar plus n a by n which gives us x bar plus a that means the big idea is that if you increase each observation by a then the mean of the new observations is also increased by a it is x bar plus a now one thing to remember is when we say increase it means a can be positive or negative that means decreased by a also mean will be decreased by the same quantity right so whether it's plus or minus if you do for each observation then the effect on the mean will also be the same okay what about on the mean deviation okay suppose we want to look at the mean deviation about mean of the new set of observations okay the original mean deviation is let's say m okay and the mean deviation of x1 plus a x2 plus a x3 plus a etc what do you expect do you expect it to be m plus a well think about it actually in order to calculate mean deviation what we would do is we would do the xi minus x bar modulus now xi minus x bar will now become xi plus a minus x bar plus a and the a's will cancel and you will simply have xi minus x bar that means the mean deviation for the new set of observations if you add all of these mod of xi minus x bar and then divide by n you will get the same original value m right so that means the mean is increased by a but the mean deviation remains the same if you add a constant number to all the observations now this is also known as change of origin change of origin affects the mean but not the mean deviation about mean okay now the next thing we can try is to multiply each observation by some number k okay then let's see what happens okay now the mean is going to be mean of kx1 kx2 etc and that is going to be kx1 plus kx2 the whole divided by n which is k times x1 plus x2 plus x3 which is k times x bar okay so that means you multiply each number by k the mean also gets multiplied by k okay what about mean deviation well if you thought like earlier mean deviation won't change okay then you are in for a surprise okay mean deviation about mean of this is m as usual now what we want is mean deviation about kx1 kx2 etc it's actually going to be km it's not the same m why because when you do xi minus x bar everything has gotten multiplied by k xi has become kxi x bar has become kx bar so the new set of observations will have k times xi minus x bar if you add all of them and you take the k out you are going to get k times m after all the modulus and all that so this is something important to remember change of origin affects the mean but not the mean deviation multiplying is also called as scaling scaling affects both the mean and the mean deviation in the same way so these are important properties to remember when we solve problems related to mean and mean deviation